Welcome, distinguished guests, members of the university's senior management committee, faculty representatives, and graduates, to the Northwest University's online virtual graduation ceremony for 10 December 2021. We are honored to be here to commemorate this special moment with you and your loved ones. We understand that no virtual ceremony can ever replace an actual ceremony on your campus together with your fellow graduates, as well as photo sessions. And exactly for this reason, we will do our best, if circumstances allow, to ensure that graduates be invited to a later event where we will be able to physically celebrate your milestone. As you enjoy the ceremony with us, we ask you to please share the journey you have taken to reach this big milestone, including the highlights along the way. In order to ensure that you have some experience of being on campus celebrating this big achievement, a special campaign was launched on the university's social media platforms, allowing you to virtually capture a moment in front of special landmarks across our campuses. Please follow us on our social media pages to ensure that you do not miss out on this opportunity. Please enjoy the event with us and celebrate it together with our graduates who realized their dreams. Remember, it all starts here. By the power vested in me, I hereby constitute this meeting as a lawful congregation of the Northwest University. Krachtens die bevoegheid aan mij verleen, stel ik hier die vergadering saam als een wettige congregatie van de Northwest Universiteit.
Good day to colleagues, family, friends, students, and most of all, to our graduates on this glorious day. It is a glorious day for you, and we are honored to have you share it with us. And I am very pleased to offer some farewell remarks to you. We're saying farewell to those of you leaving the Northwest University, perhaps if you're not staying to do graduate studies further. But for those of you who have successfully completed your years at university, this may well qualify as the final act. Well, we hope it's not the last time we will see you or hear from you as we do have a very active convocation and also an alumni and alumni association. We want to stay in touch, we want to hear from you, and we want to know about your achievements in life. Despite some of the hard tasks you've had to perform along the way, some moments of sadness and grief that you might have encountered in the course of your studies, this is indeed a day of culmination. You have completed a part of your journey with great achievement and hopefully with very beautiful memories. Some of us staff might have been tough with you at times, but it does not mean that we hated you for any moment. We really wanted to prepare you for the greater challenges ahead and to nurture you and build a strong foundation for the next level of your life. Under our guidance, you have attained this impressive milestone in your life with great honor and dignity, and even more, with integrity. Today, I'm honored to say that we are proud of your many achievements over the years, perhaps in different activities related to your studies, your various accomplishments in all the curriculum and the extracurricular activities, your brilliant achievements in academic discourse and in sport and in the arts are indeed acknowledged. And your sweet memories, the ones you have left with us, will forever remain in your hearts. So graduates know this. We will miss you because you have made an indelible mark on the life of our uni university at this time. As you enter into this world of uncertainty, it is very much one that is informed by any other time, at any other time by what we commonly call the fourth industrial revolution. Humankind has lived through three industrial revolutions over the past 250 years, each has had major ramifications, reshaping the world and its outlook. Socioeconomically, each industrial revolution has generated increasing wealth and well-being for nations across the world, yet these benefits are unevenly distributed. And that is a great concern, not only to us as a university, but to all people who want the best for every citizen of this global village of ours. Africa has indeed come late to the party, this fourth industrial revolution, as it were, as a passive recipient of each revolutionary phase in history. And the continent has failed to benefit from the industrial and productive progress that has been made globally. But on this occasion, in the year 2021, as we prepare for the momentous changes that lie ahead, I hope you as graduates will play your active part, become a participant in this revolution that we call the Fourth Industrial Revolution, and that you will be able and ready to leverage the associated opportunities that you will have 
to bring about lasting change, not just to save yourselves or to make life better for you, but for those around you, for those who are members of your family, for those who are basically in need. The Northwest University has done its bit in trying, and I hope we have tried our best, to foster and engage you in ethics in all your endeavors. My hope is that we have instilled within you a greater sense of academic integrity, a sense of freedom, freedom of association, freedom of belief. I hope that we have communicated with you a greater sense of responsibility, not just for yourselves, for your loved ones, but also for the earth. My hope is that you have become more accountable, more fair in all your dealings with others, and that you are embracing, you are embracing transparency and the various forms of diversity in all its different manifestations. When you came, and I want to end on this point, we shared with you our dream to be an internationally recognized university in Africa, distinguished for engaged scholarship, social responsiveness, and an, and an ethic of care. We trust that we have done this to the best of our ability. And if we have failed, we hope that it is not a reflection of, of our failure to try and do the best, but rather it is that we will not be perfect and we want you to join with us in working harder for the actualization of our strategy for the university, but for this world. So on that note of hope, let me urge you then, as graduates of the Northwest University, to go forward in faith, believing that with a qualification behind your back, you can make the difference. And may you be blessed in all your future endeavors. Thank you. By the power vested in me, I hereby confer diplomas and degrees on the candidates whose names appear in the program for the December ceremonies from the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences. To graduates of the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, I'm delighted to welcome you to our virtual graduation ceremony. Graduation ceremonies are awaited events in the lives of students since they represent uh, the golden era of obtaining higher education and realizing one's objectives and ambitions. Despite the current COVID-19 global pandemic, you've successfully navigated most of the challenges along your journey as a student and I'm confident you won't stop here. You have arrived to this great point in your careers as a result of your hard work and dedication. You are part of a small group of students who are graduating as pandemic rages around them. More hurdles will undoubtedly surface. Nevertheless, stay focused and remember that if you are motivated and devoted, your ambition is within grasp. But graduates, you know better than anyone that you couldn't have done it on your own. After all, we all know the African saying, it takes a village to raise a child, but let me tell you, it also takes a village to put a child through the university. As a result, we must express our gratitude to those who have supported you over the years and are still with you in spirit today. Your beloved parents, your families, your dear friends, and your dear sponsors. I want to congratulate every one of you on your graduation today. And I want to remind you that your affiliation with the Northwest University comes with commitment and unspoken quest. A quest to serve, to make a difference, and to thrive. 
The Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences bids you success in your future endeavors and wishes you good health and blessings of God. By the power vested in me, I dissolve this congregation of the Northwest University. Krachtens die Bevogheid an mij verleen, on bitek hier die congregatie van de Northwest Universiteit.